It's been more than two months since 43 students from Mayotzinapa disappeared in the neighboring town of Iguala in the Mexican state of Guerrero. The case sparked a massive wave of protests in Mexico, where people have for years watched as thousands of their loved ones have been kidnapped, killed, or disappeared. While the 43 students in question have yet to be located, their disappearance has exposed insidious ties between government officials and drug cartels. Many are calling for President Enrique Peña Nieto to step down, despite his efforts to assuage protesters with more federal control of local police departments. Peña Nieto visited the state of Guerrero yesterday for the first time since the students went missing. Here in the U.S., activists in 43 cities mobilized yesterday in solidarity with Mexican people under the banner hashtag US Tired Too. The campaign's name is a response to a viral social media trend in Mexico called hashtag Yame Canse, which played on the words of Mexico's attorney general, who dismissed reporters saying he was too tired when they questioned him about the 43. The U.S. campaign is calling for an end to the Merida Initiative, or Plan Mexico. Since 2008, the U.S. has provided close to $3 billion in security aid under Plan Mexico to fight the drug trade. Much of the money has been used to boost militarism and create a police state in the country. Activists are hoping to end Plan Mexico by invoking the Leahy Amendment, which requires the State Department to take into account human rights abuses before doling out money to support foreign security forces. Joining me in studio today is Nancy Cisneros. She is a Los Angeles-based activist with the hashtag US Tired 2 campaign. Her own brother has disappeared after being deported back to Mexico. Welcome to Uprising, Nancy. Thank you. Thank Thanks you so much for so joining nice. us. Thank you. Thank well, you first, tell us about this campaign, uh, hashtag US Tired 2. It took place two days ago. How yes. big was it? What were some of the cities that were involved? And, and what motivated people here to make this an issue of their own? Well, um, US Tired 2, um, I was invited. Mm -hmm. um, and um, basically, what the campaign is or started for it. It's because we're also, as Mexican-American, I'm also tired. Mm -hmm. it, that's in response to um, Murillo Caram's, you know, Ya Me Canse. And um, because it affects us here. Yeah. And if, um, due to that, you know, as, as like I said, as an American, we, it, it, um, the government is using our taxes. Mm -hmm. to fund. Um, so there are some the really one. direct connections here on several fronts. One front is that there are a lot of Mexican-Americans like yourself in the United States with relatives there, with family members there, with cultural and uh, uh, historic ties and current ties to the country. And the other is that all our tax dollars are going toward fueling this. How exactly does Plan Mexico fuel violence across the border and on the border? Well, it, um, Plan Mexico provides US milit I mean, uh, Mexican military with training and arms to fight um, the war against drugs. But at the same time, we don't know where, you know, where military and where cartel, we don't know the difference anymore between this two. So they're so close that they're one and the same now? I would, I can, I mean, in my experience, I would say yes. So essentially, the US can be held responsible, our tax dollars can be held responsible for the disappearances of people, for the killings, for the thousands of people who just die every year. Yes. 